A small, portable and quality audio recorder is no longer a unicorn. This looks like something you may use on the go instead of professional equipment. Easy Rack's first global device is here and you know what comes next. Let's inspect. Okay, it's very tiny, but supposed to be really functional and powerful. It's the first mini AI capable recorder by EasyRack, a company which is already popular in China, and that's their first globally released product. Uh, it's supposed to be used as a highly portable recorder or as a backup recorder, or probably you can just clip it here and use it instead of a lavalier microphone if you have a proper shirt for that purpose. And by the way, nice to meet you, Michael is my name. What we do on the channel is to inspect fresh and cool tech. Full disclosure, I got the unit for free from EasyRack for the purpose of testing and completing this review, but they won't get to see the episode prior to its release and we don't have any arrangements about content or whatever is going to be shown. So I'll make sure to show you the procedure around setup, the different use cases and the most important part to verify whether its recording quality is good enough for you. In terms of competition, you will easily find a bunch of similar products, however none of them have such a small scale or idea or price. Rode, DJI and many others have wireless transmission based devices designed mostly for videographers. Truth is that I'm searching for such a recorder since years and I believe this Easy Rec device is one step away from being the perfect one. The unboxing reveals a few interesting sides of the product. First, the lack of plastic. The box is entirely plastic-free, good thing for the environment. Most interesting specifications are stamped on the bottom area and we're about to discuss them in a moment. Detailed user guide as a starter, it is quite remarkable how much hardware seems to be fitted inside. There's a recorder, there are adhesive tapes, a charging data transfer cable and the clamp. Very soft feeling material, it's all plastic because the goal is to keep it lightweight. Also, it is very slim. Easy Rex team claims that it's having less than one third of the thickness of most wireless earbuds. If you wonder about the specifications, I have a pretty detailed list with them. Dual Noless SI Sonic HD microphone, AI noise cancellation, voice activated recording option, 32GB inbuilt storage, a 450mAh battery allowing up to 36 hours recording on a single charge, LED indicator and a smartphone app. In the end of the day, it's just an audio recorder and although advertises AI capable, for instance the AI noise cancelling and uh, suppressing surrounding noises, what really matters is the quality of the microphones. Inbuilt dual SI Sonic microphones on both sides here and we really hope for the best possible audio quality. In terms of format, it records in WAV, 512 kilobits per second, which is not as good as CD quality, but we'll see if it goes really near good studio microphones. Disclosure, not really. Uh, in terms of storage internally, 32 gigabytes are available and the manufacturer promises up to 240 hours worth of audio files and that's really remarkable. The USB port here is universal for data transfer and charging, both at the same time. USB 2.0 standard. That wouldn't be a problem for copying the files because 32 gigs, even with the USB 2.0 standard, are going to be copied within just several minutes. And I think now it's time for the most important thing to do the setup and get our hands on some audio files. So, download, install, grant the necessary permissions, then the app is going to discover the recorder and control it. Make sure that EasyRec is turned on, then discover, pair and go to the app settings. Go for the My Device selection. Few things to choose from. The scene selection, AI noise cancelling on or off, the voice activated recording option and even the possibility to disable the LEDs. But I would avoid doing so because these lights are discreet and in my opinion an important indicator about the status. My favorite is the privacy setting. It locks the recordings and you and only you can copy or read them. So if you lose a device and a random person finds it, there's no way these recordings to be misused. If you want to begin recording, one way is the old-fashioned option with just a hardware button or trigger the switch from within the app. Great to see that both of the options are available. 
Now, let us compare the quality of the recordings. Gonna use the same phrase and record it with three devices simultaneously and then we're going to listen to each one of them. The EasyRec Mini, Rode NT-USB Mini and the Zoom H1 with and without the lavalier microphone option. In each one of these scenarios, the microphone is gonna be at a distance of 10 centimeters from my mouth. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. Now, let me share with you some examples of recordings that I did outdoors. Here, we're gonna compare just the Easy Rec Mini with the smartphone or the camera inbuilt microphones. This is Easy Rec outdoors, a bit of wind, and it's attached to my t shirt instead of a lavalier microphone. And now it's your turn to tell me what do you think about the overall microphone performance? This is Easy Rec outdoors a bit of wind and it's attached to my t-shirt instead of a lavalier microphone and now it's your turn to tell me what do you think about the overall microphone performance i really would appreciate if you can share with me which microphone you liked the most and make sure to note down your comments below the video while testing the device almost everything was working as advertised Battery life has been so far superb, I was noticing the percentage dropping, but never used the microphone long enough to fully discharge. The clip mechanism is working flawlessly, great advantage is that you can entirely hide the device even under just a t-shirt. There are two accessories that I'd love to share being developed by EasyRec, option for a neck strap and a microphone windshield or dead cat. If I may point out to the drawbacks that we have discovered during testing, indeed, the lack of mechanical windshield, because there is a software setting to reduce the wind impact, I wish the device was waterproof and it would be great to see an option for a 3mm jack input so that lavalier microphones get support as well. So this device definitely is going to enter my gear backpack because I really want to see whether I'm going to use it on a regular basis in the future and I think that a few software tweaks and possibly enabling this USB port to get more functions, I really hope someday it's going to be able to host some external microphones, that could turn it into a beast. But even as it is, I think it's the most capable, minimalistic, portable recorder not offering studio great quality that you can buy right now and depending on the day when you watch this video it could either be still crowdfunding on kickstarter or could be that it's already available on uh, various web stores online uh, would be interesting to hear from you are you happy enough with the microphone quality presented by the easy rec or you have another favorite device let me know comment down below as usual link to the product and more information is placed in the video description area and which is for a fantastic day thank you very much for watching this episode here i'm michael I look forward to seeing you in our next review. Bye!